Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank, and today I'm going to play some more Hogwarts Legacy. I just beat the main quest line and I'm going to go ahead and try to do the uh, Haunted Hogsmeade DLC. I'm not exactly sure how to start it, but I'm going to look and see what is needed. Maybe I have to go to Hogsmeade first. I'll try traveling there and then I'll look it up online and see. This is maybe one of my final goals for this particular game is I'm interested in trying out something new soonish. But uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and teleport over here. Oops, there we go. Ah, okay. Apparently there are two quests that I need to do beforehand. Let me see what I've got. One of them is the Charles Rookwood Trial and the Fire and Vice quest. So let's see if we've already got those. Okay, so we've done that one. Now we're also looking for the Charles Rookwood's Trial. So many of them. There it is. Okay, so we have done it. Okay. Okay, so we're looking for Penny the house cell. Okay. Let's go back to the map. I think I saw there was a new. There it is. Mind your own business. Okay. This is the one I gotta do. I'm glad I looked that up, I wouldn't have known exactly what to do here. Ah. Meat always drops my frames a little bit. I wonder if it's my CPU or uh, GPU that I have a hard time with it, but it always slows down just a little bit throughout this area. Okay, here we go. Hello there. Was there something you needed? Hello. I was wondering if you would be interested in having your own shop and a house elf to help you with it. Penny's the name. Penny's mistress is selling this shop. And Penny is most eager to start working with the new owner. It might surprise you to know that Penny can sell practically anything. Oh. It would be wonderful to have a place to sell things and someone to help me. You'll be able to give Penny almost anything that you want to sell. It will be no work at all for you once the shop is up and running. If you want the shop and Penny hopes that you do, you should talk to Penny's mistress as soon as you can. Her name is Cassandra Mason. Why is your mistress selling the shop and you? Mm, Penny cannot be certain as Mistress Mason so rarely confides in her. Mm, however, she repeatedly mentions how tired she has become of trying to let the shop. She has had rotten bad luck with the last few tenants. <sighs> Are you all right? Are you holding your breath? <sighs> Penny's fine. Sometimes Penny simply needs to remind herself to stop talking. <laughs> what kind of things would I be able to sell in the shop? All kinds. Anything from essence of Disney to moon carver. If a buyer exists for something, then Penny can sell it and get the best price. Just ask Mistress Mason. Why are the premises in such disarray? 
Oh, the previous tenants were not mm, able to manage very well. They seem to have given up rather quickly. <laughs> Penny is perfectly capable of helping clean and repair, so the shop will be ready for business in no time. How is it you're so good at selling? Seems unusual for a house elf. Oh, before he died, Penny's previous owner, Master Mason, trusted her to do all sorts of things to help him with his shop. Penny supposes it is a bit unusual for a house elf to possess such skill, but Master Mason commanded it, and Penny was happy to oblige. Master Mason was a wonderful master. Okay, here we go. <laughs> all right. I shall go and find Madame Mason. Oh, this is splendid news indeed. You won't be sorry. You can find Mistress Mason at her home on the north edge of the village. Penny does hope she gets to work with you. Now I hear some of you are making deals with these wives. All right, let's put on the gas. Let's see, a pistol? Yeah. Looks to me, it does look pretty. Not saying I don't have oh shit. I wonder, actually, now that I beat the game, it looks like it's spring again. I think it was winter originally. I'm not sure. But I wonder if we can change the seasons. Hello, Madam Mason. I understand you have a shop to sell. Why, yes. Yes, I do. Are you interested? Yes, I am. I've always wanted to own a shop. Marvelous. I think you will find my terms quite generous. But, and do please forgive me for asking, don't you think you might be a tad young to own a shop? <laughs> I have a knack for this sort of thing, if I do say so myself. If I can meet your terms, I hope that you'll sell to me. Well, I reckon you have the confidence needed for such a venture. Of course you'll have Penny to help you. That elf could sell tea to a troll. I assume she told you she comes with the place. She did indeed. I like you. Tell you what, I shall sell you the space for an exceedingly fair price. I think you might just be shrewd enough to make a go of it. Hmm. An exceedingly fair price for a shop and an elf. What's the catch? Huh? You are wise to be wary in business dealings. No catch, really. I simply ask that you allow me to do you the favor of buying the shop back. At a discount, of course, should your efforts fail. The last thing we need here in Hogsmeade is for one bad apple to spoil the barrel, if you get my meaning. Your faith in me is overwhelming. You're sorely mistaken if you think I'm going to fail. There's that confidence again. And, of course, I wish you every success. Do we have a deal? Hmm, let's see. What precisely do you mean, should my efforts fail? Honestly, I only mean that if for some reason you're unable to keep the shop going, I could help you cut your losses. That's all. But, as you've implied, the odds of that happening are remote. The shop seems to be in an ideal location. Why has no one purchased it yet? It is indeed. But I've just decided to sell. I've grown weary of being a landlady. My late husband was the one with a passion for shopkeeping and business in general. You'd be wise to take advantage of this opportunity before the offers start rolling in. It looks to be rather a mess. Why haven't other tenants been able to make a go of it there? As you've no doubt considered, running a shop is not as simple as those less savvy might think. The new owner, however, will have something that previous tenants did not the benefit of Penny's particular prowess. Her assistance will make all the difference, I should think, in both getting the shop ready for business and ensuring its success. 
It does sound intriguing, but I need to consider my finances first. I'll come and find you if I'm interested. Very well. But I won't be able to keep the shop available for too long. If you do want the shop, I'd advise you to return to me as soon as possible. Uh, let me think about it. Okay, I want it. The shop won't be available. Madam Mason, about the shop. Yes? I've decided I'd like to go ahead and purchase the shop. I have to say I'm impressed. You are a remarkably resourceful student. I am indeed. And brave. You won't be sorry. Give me the money and I shall get the paperwork filed immediately. Wonderful. Shall I head directly to the shop? Please do. Oh, one more thing. Since my husband died, I've not been able to bring myself to retrieve some of his personal items. They're in a chest at the back of the shop. Penny has the key. As you get organized, I would be terribly grateful if you could help an old widow and gather his things for me before you open for business. I wish you the very best of luck in your endeavors. Penny will meet you there. Seems a little insidious. <laughs> if it weren't for the conferences, get out of my shop. Well, I've done it, Penny. The shop is mine. Oh, Penny is so pleased. Penny was hoping you would be the one to purchase it. I'm glad you're here to help me. Goodness, what a kind thing to say. Penny will do all that she can to make this a success. There is much to do. The last tenant left in a bit of a rush, so we'll need to clean up and do some repairs. Well then, let's get to it. Penny is ready. Between right, the two of go. us, we should have this place up and running in no time. Let's see, is it on the exterior? Oh no. Okay, we can't come inside. Okay. Maybe? Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, so I think we need a Repero? Repair it. Oh, Penny can already see the potential. This is really the most successful shop in Hogsmeade. Mistress Mason wanted Penny to be sure and give you this key. It opens a chest in the back room of this shop. Oh, yes. She mentioned it to me. It contains some of her late husband's belongings. Penny wonders if you should open the chest. Are you holding your breath again? Penny must get back to work now. <laughs> Revelio. Okay, no goodies in here. All right. Back to the caves, apparently. Rebellion. Hmm. What are we going to find down here? I 
Uh oh. Creepy mannequin thing. That's odd. Why would someone store one hat in here? Wonder if we try to leave. Well, yeah. That's not very hospitable. <laughs> uh oh. Moved. Oh goody! Someone to play with. You seem to have your wits about you. What fun this will be. For me, at least. It's creepy. Hmm. I thought I could hear something coming. Revelio. Maybe not. Um okay, there's a path down there. Maybe I'm supposed to use Lumos or something? Lumos. Okay. That's new. Onwards, I suppose. Huh. What? Who's there? Oh, this looks like it could be a maze. Cool. Wonder if it will be. Okay. Let's see. Revelio. Does it show us anything? I don't know if it's just for the ambiance, but now they hear something that sounds like footsteps. It's pretty creepy. Okay. I'm not sure. Oh, let's see. I guess uh, there we go. Yeah, gotta examine the jack-in-the-box looking thing. Okay. Oh, who's this? Oh, it looks like an Iron Maiden or something. Hmm, I wonder if I backtrack now. Lumos. Bats. Lovely. Revelio. Oh, this is that door I saw earlier with Revelio. Okay. Hmm. This is the pit? No. Let's go somewhere. Maybe I have to hop down there because I need a key or something. Yeah. Hmm. Seems as if I should hang something there. Got it. Okay. So let's see if we can do Accio. Accio! Guardian Leviosa. There we are. These lanterns must belong somewhere. How enlightening! Mm, you uh, might survive a bit longer than the others. Hmm. Lumos. I wonder if these are former victims. Didn't look at them too closely. Oh, you've come so far, so quickly. Well done. You might be just the playmate I've been looking for. I do hope you enjoy my playground. I encourage you to tell everyone about it. If you make it out, that is. Please try. If you get to the end, perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement. I do want your shop to succeed, after all. What's the saying? Two sides to every storm. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, both sides here are to my story. Hmm. And you'll have to complete both to get to the end. Interesting. So it looks like left and right doors. Let's go with the left. Why not? Ah, you've chosen the scholarly route. You'll need more than you've learned from books to best me. 
Well, this looks like it could be a maze. I wonder if the statue's positions or what they're doing has anything to do with the challenge. It could, it could just be there for fun. I guess we'll keep going towards the destination. Ah, okay. So there's two lanterns that need to be returned. Maybe one down each way. Ah, uh, this reminds me of Ocarina of Time and the Forest Temple. <laughs> it's always good to have a different perspective on things. Interesting. So we're upside down. I wonder if it's going to be... I wonder, I guess it won't even let me go over there. I know, will it? It doesn't appear to be a lamp to take either. Interesting. Okay, so what if I go back in here? Oh, this changed. Okay. I see now. Well, I'm not seeing anything yet. Maybe it's just further along. This is really cool. Um, I like this quest so far. However... Revelio. I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like there should be something in here. But perhaps I'm just not in the right place yet. We'll try going backtracking again. I don't think I've seen anything. Okay, so I backtracked once and it got me this. So. Ah, there's the lan lantern. It's way over there. Maybe I can hit it from here? No. But I think that's it, so let's let's see what we can do. <laughs> hmm. Oh, there's a lantern. Okay. Aha. So much fun to be had. My head is spinning. Oh, here's a little hidey hole. I wonder. Is this just another path through the area? Or what is this? Okay. Maybe I just hop down here then. I wonder if the rooms with the mannequins or previews of the areas I'd be exploring. Revelio. Sort of feels like it. Oh! There's a chunk. Rugged dueling gloves. I haven't looked to see if any of the uh, clothing that I got when I logged in was perhaps better than what I've already got on. Need to see about that. Ooh, this is looking creepy. Okay, there's the lantern. Yeah, I don't think I see any surprises. So, so as we grab it. Okay. Looks like it's upside down again, maybe? No. This is the portrait it is. Wonder if I have to move that. I bet I do somehow. Perhaps I should pull the lantern into this room to cause the room to rotate again. You can be long to solve that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh okay, here we go. No sign. Okay. 
We'll keep going then. Love the aesthetics of some of these places. I don't know if I'd want an entire like castle home built. Books and but no play make one quite dull indeed. A room or two, like it would be pretty cool. I wonder if that was just his taunt because I solved it and this is what I needed for that door. Looks like it is. Okay. So we'll go do the other one, I suppose. Hmm. Mm hmm. It's like a dining area. Okay. I wonder if this is just pick a door. Maybe not. I don't know if I should take any of those. Revelio. This looks like it's a trick. Lumos. Maybe? I wonder if they're all the same. Yeah, they're all the same. I guess we'll start at the right. Did it go to the same place though? Ah. <laughs> okay. It's a one-way trip. I wonder if they all would have done that. Oh, deja vu. What? Hmm, it's a tricky. Lumos. Ah, uh, I guess he's just toying with me, making me go through each door. Let's try again. I think this might be a new area. I'm not positive though. Ah, hey, that was rude. Ooh, what's in here? Lumos. Kinds of interesting stuff. Pretty scary. This is an this is an endless circle, isn't it? I think I'm missing something. Huh. I wonder. Rebellion. Oh, I heard a chime. I wonder. Oh, I see footprints. Okay. are going to there, but I'm not supposed to go back this way. Lumos. Huh. Oh. What was that? Scary spider, that's what that was. This is like the Jump scare DLC of Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> oh, I'm completely boxed in now. <laughs> Revelio. Lumos. <laughs> Alright, you guys, this isn't fun anymore. <laughs> wow, this would be a perfect release for like a night before Halloween or something. Okay. Revelio. Lumos. Now, what are we doing here? Uh, oh, door opened. I don't think that was there a second ago. Maybe I missed it. Hmm. Hmm. They're jacking their box. Oh, how nice of him to pop in.
Now this could be a maze. Oh, I had to fight them. I'm not going to bother with the dueling feats, but I'm slowly try to not break them. Still a few left. I wonder if they're all going to come alive, actually. They don't hold up to fire for very long, so that's the good news. Looks like there's one back here. Incendio! Imperial. Hmm. I'm not positive it was what actually helped me or not. Bombarda. Incendio. Okay, I wonder if it's the one under my control that is still alive. Yeah. Interesting. I'm really vibing with this DLC. This is uh, pretty cool. Home sweet toe. Accio, Wingardium Leviosa. All right. I wonder if we have to fight this guy. Is he just an impish spirit, but not really trying to kill me? I'm not sure what's going on with this. Oh, we still have one lock remaining. Okay, then. I simply adore this blooming place, don't you? You know, foliage, like most living things, won't survive for long in the darkness. Okay then, so... I wonder if it's using parts of the Hogwarts castle, like, remodeled, or, uh... Whoa, what's that? Akio! We're using parts of Hogwarts Castle like your model for uh, first of this because that was a lot like the um, greenhouse. 
can barely keep a thought going. I'm just really enjoying the ambiance of it all. All right. Ooh, spooky. What's this? A game within a game? Ooh, ooh! Night to H3. Nighty night! <laughs> This is a bit. That was the wrong square. Interesting. So, am I playing the night, or what do we have here? I see cracks in the ground. Maybe I just have to avoid those. Yeah, that's what it is. That wasn't too difficult. I just want a chest. Oh, it gave me gold. There. Oh well. Oh goodness! <laughs> I do hope you're having as much fun as me. I think I'll keep you around a bit longer. This reminded me of a hallway in, I think it was first Resident Evil. Um, with uh, dogs jumping out of the glass. Uh, I think it might be the same hallway you see liquor for the first time too. Alright. Alright, now, where are we at? Ah, this passageway opened up. Okay, so we have this. This must be a completion of the first challenge. Go pretty quickly. Under other ones this way, probably. Oh, okay, more mannequins. Creepy, creepy. Oh, got some mean furniture. <laughs> Huh. Rebellion. Okay, more creepiness. She started animating. Oh, well, okay. Oh, I'm afraid of the dark. I wonder if that's Doesn't a hint. Doesn't worry that I can see you, but you can't see me. Oh, maybe I can get this. Is this going to line up some bridges for me? Ah, open a door. Okay. Hmm, I'd offer you a seat, but I'm rearranging the furniture. Plus, don't want you getting too comfortable for what's in store, do I? Guess we'll continue along this way. Rude, rude, rude. Uh, let's accurate. Let's see, is this going to make a bridge over that way or which way? Huh, maybe I'll go back. Maybe open that door up or something. Ah, okay. I think that's what it did, it opened up this door. And I guess we take this one? I was going to say, I don't think it's coming. Okay. Nice. Oh. 
but it did not open. What's up with that? Am I supposed to be going back? I feel like I'm overlooking something. Maybe I can pick this one up and move it over to the second one. Or it looks like there's something over there too. This one is a sphere, maybe? Ah, oh, this is just a item. That guy's new. Alright. Maybe I do need to move this one with me. Accio! We got him the rest of the lesson. Oh. The problem is I do that and that glitch goes away, so that can't work. Maybe I can reach it from all the way over there. Let's try. There we are. Door opened. Okay. Interesting. Oops. I wonder if it opened earlier, I just didn't notice it because I was focused on the other door that was closer to me. Okay. <laughs> it's Tormini. <laughs> Lumos. <laughs> That's a little source of light. Could be that it was bleeding out from underneath or something too. And sure, I'm just a crew. And this has changed. Okay. This looks like it's leading back to the main area. Is this a fake out? Kind of feels like it could be. Accio. Oops. Guardian Leviosa. This place just keeps getting bigger and bigger. It's like I'm gonna see if I studio again though. Ready Time to raise the stakes, so to speak. Well, uh, where shall I put this? Hmm. 
This is everything. An enemy marker. <laughs> Aha! Finally! You, my inordinately clever friend, appear to have traversed this seemingly never ending dungeon relatively unscathed. And now I suppose you want to go. Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. I'm starting to take it personally. I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. If you can match wits with me now and agree to give me unfettered access through the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. Pursue it to which, um, uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, uh, leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. You get to shop, I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent! <laughs> Let the games begin! Okay. Uh, I wonder why you'd want to shop. hit me hard. Oh. 
and saved up all those combos. Well, well, finally, someone deserving of the playground I so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. I must say, I enjoy a good challenge. Ah, a kindred, dare I say, spirit. So, about the contract. I am a poltergeist of my word. Just to be clear, what does this agreement entail, specifically? Ugh, pay attention. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time, mostly, in peace. Why would you enter into such an agreement? Much as I love banging about the place, it's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. But one doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without it. Very well. I shall agree to your contract with one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing business with you. You well, pulled me out! Oh, well done. I have a feeling about you. I have to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. And I didn't find a hand on him. Wonder if that's a thing I'm turning back to uh, the widow. I bet it is, because he mentioned her. Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny, he's so glad you're back. Were you worried I might not return? Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Another shopkeeper? St. Mungo's? I think you should explain, Penny. <gasps> Penny, please stop holding your breath. Tell me what's going on. <sighs> oh, please forgive Penny. Penny is forbidden from telling you anything. But how can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I purchased this shop. I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. Thank you, Penny. I think I'm going to need to talk to the authorities. Oh, Penny is certain that's a brilliant idea. Officer Singer will know what to do. Penny will wait right here. Hmm. Officer Singer, I have some information you might be interested in. Ah, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. I... Cassandra Mason sold you her shop. I am perfectly capable of owning a shop. But more importantly, did you not hear the bit about the dungeon? No, no, I, I heard that bit too. And according to the house elf that came with the shop, she has done this sort of thing before, repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. In any event, these are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we?
Okay then. Guess we gotta go confront the witch. Give me my money back. Oh, hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant, Cassandra. It's my understanding that she sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now, they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. <laughs> Sure, I'm supposed to be here. Maybe I can win Guardian here? That potion. <laughs> I'll throw out some cabbages, maybe that'll help us. Hmm. Try Mandrake. Wow, I have no idea what to do about her. She hits me, she has a lot of damage. She I'm kind of worried about this final phase of her, not like spinning how this goes. Just can't seem to be able to break through. Oops. Didn't mean to go to the pause screen. Let's see. Maybe, maybe I just need to try freezing her. No? Not even that. Um, I'm going to try to rest some momentum and maybe Leviosa. Huh? 
Jeez. How am I supposed to keep this up? Potato. I think that's what I gotta do. Let's try to potato. Perfectly blocker. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. I forgot about that mechanic in this game. That's what happens when you don't play something for like a year. Oops. It'll be hard to recover from that. Patience. So I had to redo this. I don't work with things. Because that was tough. I think it does. Yeah, good. So now I know that it's supposed to be like a cricket block or something against her. Oh, she got me. Fair and square. Okay. Now it's about time for the perfect block. What on earth are they teaching 
you were that school these days. Oops. Uh, I can protego that and then throw it back. That's what I've got to do in this one, at least. Okay, I see your pattern now. Perfect block on the spells. Yeah, it's not enough to do just a rock anymore. I don't think so. Oh, actually, it might be. Oh, it's gotta be faster. I think we'll get to this one. Barring some horrible combo she gets on me. I surprise. Oops, missed it with that one. Is that? Mm, I think it's your luck, it's not getting out. Man, she's tough. Ah, uh, I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerate! You don't know what you're doing! Don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Checking that house elf of yours, she's probably terrified. Smoony little traitor herself! I should have known it was you! Silencio. <laughs> And not to worry, Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Thank you, Officer Singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. Okay, sweet. Let's go take a quick look at it.
Nope. Maybe. <laughs> Penny, I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. Penny, I found an item of clothing in the dungeon that I'd like to give you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Penny never thought she would be given clothing and become a free elf. It's my pleasure. You deserve it. Of course, Penny will be staying on and managing the shop for you. Penny, you're free. You can do anything you've ever wanted to. But all Penny has ever wanted to do is run a shop with a friend and sell to the villagers in Hogsmeade. If that's what you want to do, Penny, then nothing would make me happier. I'm genuinely glad you'll be staying on. Penny is too. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop, and Penny will take care of the rest. Resters and Venom, Gladwell and Booster, Stitches and Draughts. Hmm. What do you have, Stitches and Draughts? I choose Stitches and Draughts. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny, we'll be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. Okay. I oh, got a shopkeeper's hat. <laughs> and we got a new quest. What was it? Is it this one? Huh. Oh, this is a main... Is this a main level? Or a main quest? I think it is. I might check that out. I don't know. We'll see. Prepare for your OWLS. Please, please watch while I... I can't remember... <clears throat> if that's like... If it's just kind of sticks on there or what. Okay. Okay. Well, what do we have? Unbeatable Quidditch gloves. I think everything in here is going to be lower. I feel like I got some of the best gear last time I played. Huh. Oh yeah, I forgot that we can go to the room of requirement. So this is all stuff for me to sell. Okay. Penny wishes you safe and wondrous travels. Let me uh, step outside for a minute, then we'll go to the room of requirement. So take a quick look at it. Yep, there it is. Stitches and drops. Okay. So, room of requirement, and probably call it a day shortly after that. I just want to visit it for old time's sake. Always want to press L1, R1 instead of pressing left or right on the pad, even though I see it every time. <laughs> All right. Okay, I think I identify stuff maybe over here. Is this where it is? Yeah. Cruelty one, increase sandwich with Crucio. I think these are all the things I've equipped, but what about this one? Oh, this is upgrading your gear. Okay, well we have potions. Oh yeah, and I've got things set up to automatically repopulate. That's good. Forgot about that. 
I remember spending a lot of time in here. Oh, and here's where I can identify. Yeah. Ornate two-tone gloves. Okay. Guessing it's nothing that I'll need to put on, but let's look at it out of curiosity. Stinger dueling gloves, level 31. Oh, level 35. Scorching three attached. And uh, it's been upgraded three times. So it is better. Wow. Okay then. Um, I wonder. Let me go ahead and upgrade it to you, I suppose. If I can. I don't know what all I have to make it worth it. Decrease damage taken from trolls. Okay. I wonder if I can put Scorching back on there. Scorching 2, Scorching 3. Yeah, look at all these treats I haven't got yet. We'll put this on there. Okay, and let's upgrade it. Good, looks like I might have just enough to do it. Sweet. I have no idea where to source all those things. It's been too long. What other gear might we want to put on just to see how high we can get our character out to? Nothing there. Um, headwear? Nope. What about neckwear? Don't think so. Yep, looks like we've already got just about the best stuff on that we can. Okay. Well, just in case I come back and play this in here, let's see if there's anything else left to harvest. I think downstairs maybe I had some room set up for growing things. Oh, something's happening. I wonder, did this come because I beat the game, or did it come as an update to the game? That's intense. It's a lot more space. I wonder if they made it just more items and stuff could be put in. That's huge. Man, I had a good setup going. I think I had just about everything optimized the way it needed to be. Wow, this is huge. It's like, it's gotta be close to doubling the size of the floor space in the room. Well, let's go explore a little bit more. Maybe this other area will open up similarly. Um, at least I thought there was another area. Oh, maybe I'm misremembering. I swear, though, I thought there were two downstairs areas. I'm probably misremembering. Okay, well, either way, um, really cool. I'll have to check back on one of my previous streams and see what the deal was, because I swear you could go down over that way. Maybe we should talk real quick. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? No. Nothing to say. Actually, perhaps another time. Okay. Well. Interesting, huh? I really wonder if I'm misremembering or it was two split rooms. It could be that it was two split rooms and then they, for the sake of making things more enjoyable, they moved everything into one area. Um, okay, by the way, I think I'll just, well, that would have been a lot of equipment I would have lost though, so I bet I'm misremembering. Um, however, 
We'll say seeing this guy here just makes me think like something had to be in there. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go ahead and uh, end our stream and we'll see if we come back sometime and um, go from there. So, thanks for watching. It's been STR Rank. You can follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube. And I'll have an upload of today's stream up soon. Thanks. Have a good one.